Continuing along my spooky month of Raboo spots. Are you tired of this yet? Um, today's Raboo spot. Ooh. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Witch's Night Out. Witch's Night Out, a haunting Halloween classic. Um, first, you'll probably notice something strange. I mean, I'm, I'm sure if you're a, a young child, you're probably uncertain by what this is. Well, um, children, gather around. Uh, this is what we call a VHS. A VHS videotape. And you're... Uh, I, I know some of people are just like, what? What, what is that? What is that? How, how do you play that? Um, no. No, it doesn't fit into a CD-ROM. Um, when we were growing up, we had something called video cassettes. This is how we watch most of our movies. And uh, some of us, like myself, uh, grew up with Beta. We weren't lucky enough to have VHS just yet. But uh, videotapes, um, good and bad. I mean, unlike a DVD, you can't uh, stop. I mean, you, you can stop it in certain places and go back to it and, and continue on. Um, however, you can't just select a part in this in the uh, movie. You have to rewind it or fast forward it. And uh, yeah, so um, which is night out? Now that I put got the silliness out of the way, uh, which is night out? Uh, debuted, I believe. I'm trying to see an actual year here. It was late seventies. I believe it was about seventy-seven, perhaps seventy-six. And it's always nice when they don't actually give you a copywritten date on here. Let's see if it's on here. Nope. Nope, nothing on here either. Um, but I believe it was it debuted in, in about the late 70s, 76, 75. If somebody actually knows, feel free to comment down below. But uh, what I remember, I believe I was in kindergarten. I might have been in grade one. And... Uh, this was when my memory was a little bit better than what it is now. But I remember watching this on TV, and uh, it was like the first, and it was the only time I ever saw this on TV. And I looked everywhere for it. I couldn't even remember the name of the, uh, the name of the movie. I knew it was Witches something, and uh, I don't know how I ended up stumbling on it, But because they never really aired this on TV ever again. I mean, they might have aired it here and there, and I, I might have missed out on it, but... Finally figured out it was called Witch's Night Out, and uh, I ended up buying this video cassette on eBay. Um, unfortunately, it's never been released on DVD. I'm only hoping that it's going to be released on DVD, but unfortunately, right now it's only in video cassette form. Um, it's only 25 minutes long, and uh, it stars Gilda Radner as the voice of the witch here. For those unfamiliar with Witch's Night Out, let me give you a brief summary here. Uh, it deals with uh, three kids, or actually I should say two kids, um, and uh, it's Halloween, it's coming up Halloween, and the mayor of the town wants to throw a Halloween party, and uh, they decide that they want to throw it in a spooky a spooky house, so they, they decide to plan this party up in this abandoned uh, haunted house up on the hill. And what we later find out, the house is still occupied by this witch here. And uh, a witch actually and her cat. Um, meanwhile, though, there is two kids that are wanting to dress up for Halloween, but they are extremely disappointed that um, like, they wear their masks and everybody knows who it is. And they really want to scare people, but nobody takes them seriously kind of thing. And so they say, you know... I, I wish we could be scary, or I, I, I can't remember what they say, but they, they basically make this cry for, for uh, to be scary or, and, and scare people, and the witch here um, 
hears it and prop gives them a proposition that they she can turn them into real monsters. Uh, and uh, this is actually they get babysat one night by this uh, teenager uh, Bazooey. I think it's Bazooey. Yeah, Bazooey. Uh, oh, and the there you go. The kids' names are Small and Tender. That's right. And Small and Tender and Bazooey um, all get turned into real monsters by the witch here. And Bazooey gets turned into a Frankenstein monster, and then Small and Tender turn into a werewolf and ghost, respectively. And uh, needless to say, it didn't go. It does, doesn't go as planned. And the rest of the town folk think that they're real monsters, and uh, they pursue them into the forest. I won't give it. I won't give away the whole thing, but it's a really fun movie. It's not very long. Like I said, it's only about 26 minutes long, 25 minutes long, and. Uh, it's a great fun movie. I would say, you know, if you haven't seen it, um, the animation isn't great. And and the downside to this this tape, which really frustrates me, is the fact that this cover, this image right here with the Frankenstein, the ghost, the witch, the werewolf, all that, uh, this is not what they look like in the movie. Nothing like this. Um, the witch isn't even blue skin. She's, uh, she's just, you know, skin colored. And she's got a big nose, and she's really, really skinny, and high heels and stuff like that. And uh, Bazooey, all the characters are 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 one color, kind of like the Simpsons. So small and tender, I think, are like yellow and red, yellow and blue. I think it's yellow and blue. And Bazooey is red, and he's all red, and his hair is kind of like looks like Lisa, and his face, you know, is. is Part of his hair. Um, if you watch The Simpsons, you know what I'm talking about. But the cover doesn't look it doesn't look anything like the movie. So if you pick this up, which almost looks like you could have picked it up at like a, a dollar store kind of thing, um, you might be so thrown off by this cover. I don't even know where they who drew this, but clearly they hadn't seen the movie. But uh, again, this is the only way that you're gonna be able to find this movie is through video cassette. Um, I really hope they can release it on DVD, but uh, I would say if you if you grew up in the 80s and you probably this sounds a little familiar to you, uh, what you're probably been wanting to look for is called Witch's Night Out, and it's worth watching. Um, the animation might, if anything, the animation might really scare you more than the story because the some of the animation is really bad. But uh, boy, is it ever a fun movie, and. Um, I wanted to review this, and I wanted to review uh, the Boogity Man. If anyone remembers Boogity Man, if you're my age, you probably remember Boogity Man on the Disney Channel. Um, there's Boogity Man one and two. Unfortunately, I, it was never released, as far as I know, on on, on uh, video. So I can't do a video. I can't do a review of that. But definitely check out Witch's Night Out if you can. It's such a fun movie. And again, if you're in my age bracket, you'll probably remember this movie. And so that's Witch's Night Out, and that concludes another Raboo Spot. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.